someone who has performed as much as Paula Abdul, American Idol was a real change. I think, you know, she was ready to try something different. And I think we all kind of like buckled down and went in and said, hey, let's give it a whirl. This was uh, a whole new experience for her. It's a supremely dysfunctional relationship between three very disparate humans. And it's just complete guilty pleasure for me and I think a lot of Americans uh, to watch. <laughs> According to Simon, I didn't have a personality before he came along. This huge sort of love-hate relationship between her and Simon developed. There are times that uh, on American Idol, when Randy Jackson is, is talking and he's on camera, that Simon's poking Paul just to distract her before she has to talk. This character, who sized me up and down, hello, Paula. Mm -hmm. Without question, she wants me. And it was like, let's see how, let's see how long it's going to take before she wants to quit. And my first day, I threatened to quit. The first kid comes in, and he wasn't very good. Randy went through his usual, dog, I liked you. Paula went through her usual, yes, you're great. And I told this person what I thought, which was he was just terrible. And once again, there was just silence. And... <laughs> It was an interesting first day, to say the least. They've had their tough times together. I think now he he just he, he feels like he knows how to drive her crazy and lives to do it. She brings kind of a um, an in between of the two kind of crazy guy. I feel like we've all really found our places. They balance that panel to perfection. I mean, putting Paula and Simon and Randy on the same panel is the most brilliant recipe to judging that you could ever imagine. Simon and I are record industry guys. I mean, I'm a producer, I'm also a musician, but I've been on stage with, as I said, it wasn't my own group. It wasn't Randy Jackson, you know what I mean? It, um, it was Paula Abdul. She did it on her own, and the kids identify with that. Paul is a big celebrity, and a lot of those people who are, in, who are of that age today to be on that show grew up with Paula Abdul, so she's a hero. If you're a young person in America who wants to be a star, who wants to be an idol, you're going to gravitate towards an idol. It's tough to get up there being a non-pro and try and perform and get people to enjoy what you do and like what you do and and uh, I think she she's been there and she knows what it's like I root for them I want them to do well even when it's not going their way I want them to exit with dignity and grace my job is to be their cheerleader my job is to remind them how talented they are it's not just about the show for her. I think it's about the whole connection from start to finish. That's her. She's not putting on an act, that's for sure. That's Paula. She will find the positive and bring it out. She really actually cares about the kids. It's not that I don't care, Simon doesn't care. We maybe not, we, we don't care as much, let's say that. Um, but she actually genuinely is pulling for them. I think she's called the nice judge. <laughs> nice looking. Yeah. It's strange. It's the fourth season of American Idol, yet I feel this is the magical season of American Idol. And I think watching this show grow, as it has done to become America's number one show, um, she's grown with it. Her confidence has been regenerated. I guess the question is, what will Paula do next? Um, what Paula likes, pretty much. Uh, almost anything Paula wants to do. My attention span is like, ah, next, 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 next. I, I'll start something and I'm excited. i got to get off of that and go on to something else in order for me to, be, come, to come back and be excited about that again. She's always trying to be original and come up with, with new stuff. And, and she could be driving along and you would think she was nuts because, you know, she, she could be driving along and all of a sudden she would discover something new and he's like, hey, you gonna kill us, you know, and, and before you know it, in, in a knocked out video, you'd see some driving thing that you saw develop on Laurel Canyon, you know, but, but, but that's how she was, she could, you know, something, she could, she could, you know, and then, then that video, this in the video, it's like, not, 
out the knees of... You know, I mean, anything she did could become choreography because she was always reaching and striving to find new moves, new stuff. The greats will sustain. Great things always happen to the ones that really got it going on. There's nothing that gets in her way. There's nothing that slows her down. There's nothing that impedes her sheer will and her sheer desire. I think she's got so far to go and so much more to give. And, um, I mean, and she keeps surprising people. Dancers come and go, but her talent transcends that. She is, she is real and a, a, a true artist. Time is precious. So much time has gone by that I look at things that I've achieved and it's wild. And, and yet, it feels like it was just only a few years ago. I'm not going to say yesterday. No, just, but it doesn't feel like it was a whole long time ago. I'm looking forward to the next chapters. a and &E Network presents an airline update. We've been looking for new people and predicaments that make air travel the joyful experience we all know and love. The wait is over. Can we get on the plane? Oh, what's the I might get some milky when I get home. Oh, my goodness. An all-new season of Airline premieres Monday at 8 on A&E.